After I finished today's trading session, which you're just about to watch now in this video, I received this message from Paul in the Telegram group. And I thought I'd read it to you because it's quite uh, motivational and it just explains how simple trading can be if you strip all of the garbage back and focus on the main things. So let me read it to you now. Jamie Palmer, you might not remember me. We spoke via email when I purchased the BD indicator about two months ago. I only got around to starting the course three or four weeks ago but thought it would be beneficial for other members to share my progress. I will share a video image from today's demo trading session on the live markets. For other members in here, my background trading experience is in the crypto markets, so stepping into the Forex has been a totally new experience for me. I was a swing trader so decided to use the one minute scalping like Jamie does to see how I get on. P.S. MetaTrader was also new to me. I have a good bit of uh, trading knowledge of crypto already but wanted to make this process more simplistic by not using any of my own knowledge. The idea was to prove that this system would work for someone with very little price action experience so I used a free support and resistance indicator on TradingView to plot my support and resistance areas on the 15 minute time frame. So today I made almost 2.5% profit on my demo account in less than 5 hours. I don't want to receive any direct messages for a whole load of questions about the secret to how I'm trading because there is no secret. You just need to follow the training as per Jamie's teachings but in a short follow these three rules. Only enter a trade that meets all of the entry criteria. I've seen Mark getting annoyed over this in his learning videos, but he's right. Just learn and follow the rules. Control your emotions. If you don't control, if you don't know how to control your emotions and decision making, it's easy. Simply refer to rule number one, which which is actually quite true. Uh, manage risk. M make risk management your top priority above anything else. If you follow the rules, then those losses don't matter if you have a good risk management. No matter what trading style you use, BD, smart money concepts, diversions, etc, etc, risk management will determine if you become profitable or not. So a big thank you to Jamie for creating a system that's so easy to follow and gets results. Please everyone make sure to put in the work. Don't just come here for quick answers to your questions. Make sure you go through the course work uh, several times over and keep practicing until it clicks. So yeah, very motivational speech from Paul here. But the things we need to focus on that I want you to take note of from this is first of all, be disciplined, control your emotions. Bring when, when it comes to trading, right, it's basically you're risking money to make a prediction on the markets. You know, I predict EURUSD is going to go up based off my knowledge or based off my strategy. Uh, and then just, en you know, just entering a trade using the correct money management and just controlling those losses and controlling those, those emotions. You know, the biggest reason why traders are not successful is they just don't control their emotions. You know, they get a series of losses and they don't like it. They end up changing strategies. They end up don't learning anything or they end up chasing their trades and blowing their entire account. So as he said, make risk management your top priority. If you have a problem with uh, following discipline, go back to rule number one. Follow your set of rules. They are there for a reason. And if you break your own set of rules, then it's pointless. The only thing you can control in this life is your own mindset. And if you can't control that, then it's pointless. You're not going to go anywhere in life. You know, you know and, I, and I'm a firm believer of that. OK, I'm waffling on a bit, but don't you know if let's say you're overweight right there's no point saying oh it's okay because tomorrow i'm going to go to the gym there's no point tomorrow coming and not going to the gym what why make that statement if you're not going to fulfill it why say i'm going to follow my rules in trading and not follow it what is the point if if you're not going to follow your own rules nobody else is and I'm a firm believer of that. And that's the reason why I wanted to read this to you. So, yeah, uh, it's great to see Paul's results. And, yeah, enjoy today's video. In today's video, I thought I would have an old school trading session and just a general gossip. 
Um, so yeah, Binary Destroyer, one minute time frame, Mogwai strategy, uh, and yeah, basically I'm just waiting for a trade to come. This is on MT4. Um, I've got my C Trader loaded up here to take my trades on. And yeah, just generally waiting for a setup to appear. Just like usual, nothing changes. The Mogwai strategy, one minute time frame, 15 minutes of confirmation, um, and just looking for a setup. We had a nice little buy, by the way, on Bitcoin, which I don't normally trade, but it's interesting to see. Uh, price is just going sideways at the minute, so nothing really happened. US 30, nothing's really happening on the US 30. Again, price is going sideways. Euro USD, not really within a strong uptrend. It looks like we had some news here, uh, which explains, well, it, actually, I probably wouldn't take this trade anyway because you'd wait for price to close below the TCA line, so there's no trade there. Uh, USD CAD, we had uh, a nice little sell at the top there. Uh, TCA line still inside the zone, which is good. MACD has gone overbought. Uh, Mogwai signal, again, good little sell on that one. Aussie US dollar, Nothing on Aussie US dollar at the minute. USD Chef, we USD Chef, we had a potential nice little buy there. Uh, I'd say the TCA lines come out, which are slightly risky, but again, if we've got any, look, look at that gap, look at that market gap there. Um, and apart from that, not really a lot is happening. And again, we had a nice little buy here with uh, USD JPY. Um, and yeah, nothing really happening. Uh, I was actually reading a, um, a post from a BD member, Clark. Uh, really good BD member as well. Really successful BD member. He joined us a few years ago. Um, been trading for many years with the Binary Destroyer now. Uh, you see here, started this £1,000 account last October and already gained 16% using a maximum of 1% risk per trade. Strategy, Mogwire, time frame, five minutes, risk reward ratio, one to one. And as you can see here, the binary destroyer Mogwire, 17% uh, gain, 3% drawdown. And yeah, nice little steady gain. Really, really happy with that one. And he actually explains down here, because uh, a lot of people are saying, oh yeah, you know, you can't make money of a one-to-one. Um, and he goes to say that I've been trading the Mogwire for many, many years. Um, Hold on, let me read it. To be honest, if you take signals against the trend, getting a 111 would be challenging. I suggest you only take setups on a ranging market. Um, oh, someone's here. So Craig's actually pulled them up and said, why do you keep starting accounts, mate? Haven't you got a big main trading account as you've been successful for a long time, haven't you? And he's gone, aside from my pop prop firm's accounts, I've created four separate personal accounts, including this one. One account for swing trading, trading with a 62% win ratio. One account for swing trading, day trading with my fundamentals, blah, 80, 85% win ratio. Um, and someone's then gone, yes, I understand. Are you a full-time trader? I'm mainly trading ICT. Which one is your Mogwai strategy? They're all Mogwai strategies. So basically, as you can see here, uh, this BD member is just a full-time BD member trading the Mogwai strategy, which is pretty much exactly how I trade, uh, which is good. Like I said, very, very good results there uh, and consistency. That is the main thing, consistency, right? Consistency is created from managing your losses, okay? It doesn't really necessarily matter about the win ratio, okay? You know, you can have a 60%, you can have a 70%, you can even have a 90, 95% win ratio. The, the important part of consistency is controlling those losses. So when you see me taking a trade, I will always put my stop loss below support and resistance, okay? Going back to that sell here on USD CAD, right? My stop loss, always above the arrow, always above the support and resistance, 1% risk targeting the bottom of the zone, okay? So as you can see here, this would have been a 26% stop loss, take profit, 38 pip. So one to, that was basically a 1% one, 1 risk, 1.5% gain. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's how you build consistency because when you get a loss, you are controlling those losses. There's no point, right? and a lot of people make this mistake, is there's no point, 
you know, going for five pips or 10 pips take profit and not having a stop loss. Because, you know, you can have a 99% win ratio, right? Great, you know, you're getting five pips, five pips, five pips. And you could probably do that for a week, a month, two months, maybe even six months. But if you're not using a stop loss, there will be that one trade that stops you out or that will reverse on you and you'll blow your entire account. You know, so it's always good. First thing when you get a loss, is reduce that loss, okay? Risk 1% per trade. You know, some people like to risk 1.5, maybe 2%, and that's fine, right? You know, if you tried and tested it and it works and you're comfortable with that kind of risk, that's fine. You know, you can have a 2% risk, but that means your take profit has to be at minimum 2%, which again, is fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, some, I know some traders that will risk 5 or 10% of their account. But then again, their take profit is like 15, 20% of their account, which again, you know, is fine if that's your style of trading. Um, and currently right now, nothing's really happening on Aussie U on the currency pairs. Price is going sideways. So currently right now, nothing's happening. Price is going sideways. So, um, so yeah, today's trading session, being a Monday, is going to be a little bit slow. But, but yeah, hopefully we can get a trade that I can take for you. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll come straight back. Do you know what the best part is about mastering the binary show indicator is I can trade pretty much every strategy. Now, I'm not going to be, obviously, my preferred strategy is the Mogwai strategy. You know, that's what you know me for, Jamie, the Mogwai expert. Uh, but obviously, we have four other strategies with the binary show. By the way, just to show you, okay, so the binary show has five built-in strategies. Okay, look. Pullback, BD, ANS, Benz, pullback, Mogwai, okay? Mogwai, pullback, Benz, ANS, BD, okay? Now, sometimes when you don't necessarily get a lot of setups on one strategy, you can actually switch strategies and trade something else, okay? So currently right now, the markets are going sideways, right? Basically, they're ranging in between the bands, which is not really ideal if you're trading the BD strategy, the AND strategy, or the Mogwai, okay? Because you need movement for these strategies to work. Like, give you an example here, uh, you, um, Aussie US dollar, uh, or USD chef, you see USD chef, USD chef, we've got a lot of movement. Big downward movement, price comes outside the band. This is, this is perfect for the Mogwai strategy. When price is going sideways, nothing really happens okay price is basically going sideways or slightly in an uptrend or downtrend as you can see here we're slightly in an uptrend on usd chef okay if you just bring up some price action here okay we've got a uh, if i just make it a different color um here we've got higher high previous high previous low 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 okay so you can see here it's in a slight uptrend because of this, I've actually now switched over to the pullback strategy because the pullback strategy is a trend trading strategy. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm analyzing the market and I've decided I'm going to switch strategies. We are going to get an absolute beautiful sell in the next few minutes now on USD CAD. And watch this drop nicely in the money. Okay, so. I'm not going to show you the settings for USD CAD uh, for the pullback strategy because I saved this for the BD members. That's what they, that's what you know, is what you get when you join us. Okay, you get all the settings, how to trade each one of our strategies. But watch this. Okay, obviously the pullback is a trend trading strategy. What I'm looking for is the names basically says it all: trend down, pullback, sell, trend down, pullback, sell. Yeah, pullback strategy. What we've got here is we've got the two BD lines crossing over. So green, uptrend, now it's turning red, downtrend. So now it's turning red, I'm looking for sales, okay? What we actually have here is downtrend, pullback. Look at that pullback signal, look at that. Nice little sell with the trend, yeah? Because it's a pullback signal. Price comes down, pullback, no pullback signal yet. Price comes down, pullback. See what the pullback, see the pullback happening now? We're just about to cross over on the stochastics, and I'm looking for a pullback signal right now in between this zone. And see how that pull, uh, see how the um, the BD line's gone red, right? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm analyzing before I actually get a setup. I know I'm going to be getting a setup 
in the next few minutes and I know that setup is going to be a beautiful winner okay because downtrend pullback downtrend pullback downtrend so I'm looking for a pullback to happen right now we actually price doesn't it's still going in into a downtrend but I am anticipating price to pull back up to around here okay see here still green and if I get a pullback signal I'm going for a sell all day long okay so watch this I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll get a pullback signal watch this okay well, let me pause the video here what did I say mock uh, mock my signal pullback signal okay so literally in the next uh 40 seconds i'm going to be taking a sell on usd cad so let me just bring up usd cad now uh and we're going to stack we're going to stack some nice little sales on this now this is a nice little trade with the trend okay so we can go for a lot of pips now on this trade um, let me make myself a little bit smaller uh and we're going to take this with we'll take this with one lot okay we'll go with one lot okay so go back to here oh hang on the signal disappeared waiting for this candle to close i'm just waiting for one more push up now um like i said i've really got to wait for this candle to close uh there we go there there we go there, there, there. i'm in ready three two one bang 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 done there we go there look at that nice little profit banked here okay so keep an eye on what's happening now okay so pullback happening uh stochastic's gone overbought yeah but watch this this is what i like about this stra strategy okay it's because this is a trend trading strategy and if you can understand what a trend is you're going to massively do well with this okay you can see here this nice area of support and resistance see that it's a bit choppy it's a bit messy around here but you can see an area you can see this area here okay and we've just we've just tucked below it see this here so i'm saying we've come down we pulled back we've kind of chopped around for a bit around this area here then we've come down we've come back up bang drop stochastics has gone over bought we've created a lower low there's the previous low there's the previous low previous low previous low there's the lower high lower high lower high lower high it's the downtrend you can see that yeah you can all see that it is going down the the red um bd line again is telling me it's the downtrend now this has gone nicely into profit okay so we're currently around 20 quid what i'll actually do is normally i'd set a take profit and stop loss but i'm not physically going to set one because i'm going to sit here and manually watch it uh, but as the trade goes down into profit now what i'm going to do is i'll reduce the risk on the table so because i've got three open trades i will start to close off each trade as they go into profit so it just helps reduce the risk so um so yeah, so yeah, there we go there. My target probably be around the bottom of the zone. Uh, but yeah, that's currently that's currently the trade. What I'll do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna pause the video. I'll come straight back now uh, in a few minutes once this trade goes nicely into profit. And you see here, we're currently around 50 quid. It, it actually probably says yeah, it's currently around four pips. So I'll probably close. I'll start. I'll probably start to close the first trade off at ten pips, then maybe fifteen and twenty pips. We'll, we'll just monitor it. We'll see how see how far we can get and push this trade. Uh, so yeah, I'll pause the video. I'll come straight back. Okay, so it's been around probably two minutes. Literally been around two minutes, uh, and I'm just watching the trade now because I said I'm going to close off that first trade at ten pips, didn't I? Uh, and it's currently around 8 pips. So here we go here. It's around 8 pips. It did actually hit 10 pips. In fact, what I'll do is I'll actually I'll actually set uh, a 10 pip take profit just to kind of... Oh, here we go here. Here we go. So this one has already just hit 10 pips. Here we go here. So we're currently at 12 pips, 13 pips. So I'm going to start to close off. There we go there. Close off one trade. Bank some profit. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to close it off there to be fair. I'm probably going to close it off there because my target is at the bottom of the zone just there. Um, and that is it. Literally, that is it, okay? Uh, we got around in literally in a less than maybe two minutes, we got 12, 11 pips out of the trade. So, done. There you go there. Literally 11 or 12 pips. Now, normally with the pullback strategy, you can push because this is a trend trading strategy. Normally, you can push the trades to get a little bit more because obviously, you know, like here, for example, okay, because this is a trending strategy, 
you, you know, like I said, downtrend, pullback, downtrend, you can get a lot more. But my style, like I said, my style of trading is scalping. You know, I prefer the Mogwai strategy. You know, I like the in and out fast paced trading. I don't necessarily like holding trades for long periods of time. Uh, and again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my style of trading. You know, even though I can trade mostly every strategy. I have my preferred strategy, which is the Mogwai. OK, so you can see here, you can see here how uh, and this is this is how you can always tell if if your analysis is right. You see, that I'm just going to mark up a little line. I'm just going to put a little line just here, right? You see how we just broke the previous low. If you zoom in now, okay, you can see how we just broke the previous low. So this is this done exactly what I expected it to do. It was a downtrend. It was a pullback. It was a downtrend. Okay. Now, like I said, this trade could go off and deliver, you know. Of, you know 300 pips but it's not my style of trading and just to show you just how powerful this strategy is let me find you a setup that is let me get rid of that line just there let me find you a really good setup and you'll understand why this strategy is so good let me try and find you a setup that meets the rules and um, there's a lot of setups so i'm trying to find you the perfect setup uh no trying to find you a really good setup uh, here, right? Let, let's go with this one. Okay, let's go with this one. Okay, right. So, let, again, keep keep an eye on the basics because it's a pullback strategy. We're looking for what? Pullbacks in a trending market. Okay, so you can see here we had an uptrend uh, because the BD line was green. It's now turned red. It's crossed over. So, downtrend. Yeah, looking for pullback with the trend. We have a trend down. We have a pullback. We have a mog uh, pullback signal. I'm not taking this trade because it's not inside the zone. We have a downtrend. We have a pullback. We now get a pullback signal. We now get the stochastics overbought. We get a continuation down there. See the difference? Okay. This trade, for example, if you had a stop loss of around five pips, this trade went to around 12 pips so one to one to two on that one okay obviously one minute time frame if you skip this over to the five minutes uh, and again find you another setup uh with the trend obviously on the five minute time frame let me find you one more uh okay here you go here right here you go here again uh, probably no i wouldn't count that one i'm trying to find you a really good setup here okay here we go here right here we go here okay so watch this okay ready up trend pull back uptrend pullback pullback signal stochastics overbought yeah quite obvious okay it's an uptrend yeah stop loss below the zone so around 10 pip stop loss on this one this trade to give you an example here went to went to 106 pips so 10 pip stop loss or 100 pip take profit a 1 to 10 1 to 10 just by basically understanding what a trend is and trading the pullback signals. That is it. If we go back to USD CAD now and we go back to the one minute time frame, okay, see how we've now broken that low. See this? So even though I had what? Eight pip stop loss, the trade is well into nearly 20 pips. Nearly 20 pips, okay? Obviously, I closed off at 10 pips because, you know, it's not my style of trading. But yes, that is the pullback strategy. Uh, and that's what basically you do if you don't get any Mogwai signals. I just trade the pullback strategy. You can see here now, price is still continuing lower, okay? And it will continue lower because it's a downtrend, okay? Downtrend movement. So yeah, my name's Jamie Palmer. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, drop me an email, thebinaryshore at gmail.com.